Hmm. Uh, we're on here again. And this is just a real short, like, introduction or survey or, or note. I guess we should put the camera. I'm always look, looking, used to looking at the, at, at the mirror, so the mirror's the, the image is here and the camera's here, so, yeah. Anyway, so these, th these things, these videos, um, I don't, I'm not really an actor, I don't pretend to be one. I do performance art sometimes, and usually it's just uh, stream of consciousness stuff and, and, and some prepared text. I usually have a, uh, what I call my bags of tricks, and they're basically both texts and stuff. And they could be anything. They could be uh, phone lists, if you remember. The, my very Monty Python, very a theater of the absurd um, things, you know, the, uh, the labyrinth, uh, as well as uh, Guernica by um, oh, uh, Arabelle. The chap is a Spanish ex absurdist by the name of Arabelle. I forget his last first name. And of course the classic is Waiting for Godot by uh, uh, Samuel Beckett. Waiting for Godot, G-O-D-O-T. And um, stuff like that. And um, Albert Camus and uh, the Myth of Sisyphus and uh, 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 the Plague by Albert Camus, and then uh, which is much easier to read than his The Stranger, which is very sim a lot of symbolism and very very a lot of uh, uh, literate uh, stuff. And the same thing goes for for, for Jean Paul Sartre's Sartre S A R T R E, um, uh, uh, No Exit. I mean his uh, the, the the Flies, his play called The Flies, which is sort of retelling an extension of. Uh, the uh, Agamemnon, the story of the, uh, the play of the Agamemnon by I think Aeschylus, A E S C S C A L I U S. It's not a spelling. I always spell because my mind is this kind of weird kind of. Um, uh, it's very good for poetry and things like that, and streams of consciousness and word to word to word and puns and things like that. But it's very bad about trying. As you can notice, these things don't really have a coherence to them. So hopefully, as I said, if nothing else, hopefully they're not. Um, uh, boring. This last thing would be boring. It may not make sense. It may be silly. You're just like, what is just, just, uh, not really. You know, it's, it's, it's sort of a, it's a funny thing because, you know, anything, uh, for example, let's say I write a book and then I've got heaven to hear, a very, very cool, cool, cool book. And this is the Ralph Meyer, M A Y E R, Artist Handbook of Materials, third edition, Viking Press. Beautiful book. It's sort of a classic around the world. And uh, a very good friend of mine, um, um, uh, 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 Jorge uh, Misum from Uruguay, and uh, Jorge is J O R G E, George or Jorge in Spanish. And uh, of course, another famous person from uh, South America is Jorge Luis, Luis Borges, uh, George J O R G E L U I S, Borges B O R G E S. And then in Spanish, it's Jorge Luis Borges or Jorge Luis. Borges. If you don't, I can't do the. I can say René Descartes, but I can't do the the dry R. Descartes uh, or Jean Paul Sartre. I can't do the dry R. I can do the R or or R. And anyway, so anyway, so that's it. I don't diverge too much and go crazy and off and my usual tangents and stuff. But if this was the book, if this is the the, the text and I'm describing it, then it would be a paragraph and it would be linear. And it would be a summary, summary, and it's also known as a prece, P R E C I S E. I think it's a little accent mark. It's probably French, and so prece or a little, a little precise. It sounds like the word precise, but it's a very, very brief summary, and it's a little a capsule, a little capsule looking thing. So that's what all these things are. Is they're little things, they're little thoughts, they're the notepads, they're the note uh, scripts, they're 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 the scriptlets, they're they're they're. Uh, an index card. I once had a chemistry teacher, and whatever would fit on a single index card. This is a receipt for my rent. But if whatever would fit on there, that was the lecture for today. An hour lecture, hour and a half lecture, whatever was on here. And if you finished early, well, we would talk about football and things like that. That sort of thing. Had a couple of professors like that. And I would prefer it when I taught for a little, many, many years ago, little labs and stuff. If I had to teach like an hour lecture, I would, try, I would usually prepare like three hours ahead of time. Very, very, you know, like just, you know, as you can imagine, um, um, you know, so. The spontaneous stuff should be very spontaneous and the, the, the scripted things, it's like page on the stage. I was in a play and I kept waiting for my cues and then the, the girl I was playing opposite, she kept changing it and I said, and I was going to keep changing it. I'm waiting for that little line. So it's like, I keep that 
to keep it fresh because it was 25, 30 performances, and I had a very small part, and I had to write a few lines. And I said, oh, yes, right, because I'm just a really performance kind of person, and this is an actress and an actor, and they're, they're really trying to just keep it just like that so that it has that beautiful quality that live theater can have, and yet doesn't feel like it's wrote. And you see this in, in you know, the, the fourth or fifth, um, my favorite ones on the, on the Internet here on my YouTube is this uh, Gaty Parisienne, and they're dancing. You can see that it's the last performance of the, the, the evening, probably Saturday, you know, they perform Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and of course at Broadway they're performing all the time. You have to have different troops because basically after four or five, perform three or four five performances in one day, at the end of the day, everyone is, is tired. You can see really who, people, who has the energy and who doesn't, and we can't just be all taking this kind of, you know, the kind of, a, this is allergy tablets, but a, the opposite, <laughs> the kind of energy drink things, and Yes, I am obviously quite so energetic. But um, anyway, that's it. So this is this the little hand waving, and it's just stuff and stuff, stuff to get you thinking about, and lots of different topics, and it'll all sort of come together, and it'll be very organized and printed. And the printed version is totally different. I tend to be very, very linear with lots of footnotes and stuff. And I usually will use this gesture: footnote, 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 and so like that. Okay, well, cool. Uh, cool. You know what to do. Do good stuff. Save the world. Uh, save the planet, and, and, and save at least the city of Venice. I've never been there. I'd like to go. Don't let the, the ocean waters are rising. The flood waters are rising. I think Linus Van Pelt. Uh, interesting name. Okay. And Lucy Van Pelt. Uh, Peanuts. Look that up. Little cartoon. Charles Schultz and uh, Snoopy, the, the, the dog Snoopy, and uh, no, so there it is. Okay, cool. And that's it. That's the introduction. And survey and. Burble, it's the pre say, it's the introduction, it's the overview, it's it's a summary, it's a distillation, it's a it's, it's like almost it's almost therapeutic, no, it's almost a thesaurus. And uh, a peanuts commercial uh, thing. Yesterday, while in the library, we are attacked by a giant thesaurus. And the person says, Volume one or volume two? Peace, go. There's my board. You can see the boards back there. There's a the clock. You see it. Sorry, up there. It's uh, 2:55 local time, which of course is 10:55 uh, Casablanca or Dublin, London, Greenwich time. Greenwich, Greenwich mean Greenwich, Greenwich, no Greenwich, fill it Green, Green. Think Green. Yeah. Green. I'm from Mars. Why aren't I green?